Set goals by Blue Jackets. You can't just build confidence by saying positive things to yourself. It's also very important to set and achieve goals. And why is that? Because when you set a goal and achieve your goal, you feel proud of yourself. You boost your confidence and you start believing in your abilities. So, how do you set and achieve goals? Think of it as a staircase and the small steps you need to take to reach the top of the stairs and to your goal. Before you take any steps, make sure you set realistic and doable goals. For example, my goal of learning my math facts or learning to play my guitar is a realistic goal for me. Before taking any steps, first you have to put your mind to it that this is something you really want to do for yourself. Then, outline the steps you are going to take to get to your goal and break down the goal to smaller parts. When you break down the goal to smaller parts, you are then taking one step at a time to get to the top of the steps and to your goal. Do you want to see how I'm going to break down my goal into smaller parts? For example, I get really nervous and scared when speaking in front of my class during presentations. I have a presentation coming up, so my goal is to feel less nervous and to feel more confident with my presentation. So, to achieve this goal, I will Step 1. I will practice my presentation in front of my bedroom mirror. Step 2. I will practice my presentation in front of one family member. Step 3. I will practice my presentation in front of two family members. Step 4. I will practice my presentation in front of my family members and maybe a neighbor or a friend and then I will tell myself I got this and I will do great. Step 5. I will now present to my class. I feel ready, confident and less nervous. I did it. I was able to achieve my goal of feeling more confident and less nervous presenting in front of my class. I'll give you another example. I want to learn to ride my bicycle. Step 1. I will practice balancing my body on my bicycle. Step 2. I will ask my grandfather to hold the bicycle while I practice pedaling. Step 3. I will practice pedaling a few steps forward by myself. Step 4. I will practice pedaling a few more steps forward. Step 5. I'm getting the hang of this and I'm getting better at riding my bike. I've had some falls along the way, but I feel more confident now. I can do it. Taking small steps help me get to my goal and achieve my goal. Every time I set and achieve my goals, I feel proud of myself and I feel more confident in my abilities. And now it's your turn. What goals will you set for yourself and what steps will you take to achieve your goals? Off you go. to set and achieve your goals. Did you know we have an entire library of social emotional learning videos with ready to use lesson plans and activity worksheets? Subscribe today at bluejackkids.com.